Hello, and welcome back to another video. This one's for the more younger viewers of this channel, but it might be useful to the older ones among you as well. Today, we're going to be talking about a question many guys have, especially the ones still in their early years. How should you really talk to girls? What are the things they like? How should you not talk to them? Are there some specific things that you should be talking about? If you've ever wondered about any of these things, then you're in luck. Because today, I'm going to tell you the do's and don'ts of talking to girls. So let's begin. All right, first things first. Before we can even begin to talk about how you should be talking to girls, you need to understand that men and women are fundamentally different. The way our minds work are different. No matter how much feminism would want you to believe that men and women are equal, we simply aren't. Our bodies are different. The way we perceive things is different. The way our brains work is different. It's just basic biology. So when speaking to girls, you need to keep this idea in mind. You can't just speak to them the way you do with your male friends. I mean, sure, some girls prefer that, but there's still going to be some fundamental differences in your conversations. So once you understand this, you can now start focusing on the do's and don'ts of talking to girls. Oh, and before we begin, here's a tip. Don't be a nice guy. Or rather, don't think that being nice will get you, women. Trust me, being nice isn't a big deal. There's probably tens of guys being nice to her in her DMs right now. So, don't think that being nice to her will get you anywhere. Is that clear? Now let's start with the first thing you have to keep in mind when talking to girls. Confidence. We've all seen movies of how those timid, nerdy guys get the prettiest girl to fall for them. This might happen sometimes. Just like how eclipses happen sometimes. But that doesn't mean that it's the norm. For most girls, nothing is a bigger turnoff than a cowardly guy. So you need to be confident. You need to be courageous. I know it's easier said than done. I know that being confident isn't as easy as flicking a switch. But haven't you heard the age old saying, fake it till you make it. Even if you're not a conventionally confident guy, there's still some things you can do to appear as one. The very first thing is your frame. How you walk, how you move, things like that. You might think that to be weird. I mean, who notices how someone walks? But trust me, women notice these things. So try to have a confident, masculine frame. Stand up tall, don't have a hunched back. Walk with deliberate but controlled steps, not small, shy steps. Look straight towards your destination, don't look here and there. And when you speak, speak with confidence and clarity. You don't have to be unnecessarily loud. Just speak clearly and make sure your voice reaches the person or people you want it to reach. While you're at it, take care of eye contact as well. You've probably heard how important eye contact is thousands of times. Eye contact is a window to intrigue her further and lets her know that you're into her. Just keep in mind that eye contact means observing, not staring. Don't stare at her. You'll come off as a creep and make her feel uncomfortable around. Another thing that you should keep in mind is that you have to excite her. Have exciting conversations with her. Do you know why a lot of women prefer going after bad boys? It's not because women are inherently attracted to bad guys. It's just that these types of guys tend to excite them. They're like a sense of thrill in their otherwise dull lifestyle. So excite her. Make her life more interesting. Of course, that doesn't mean that you should take her to travel the whole world. But instead of going to some restaurant or cafe for your date, why not go somewhere exciting? Maybe a trip somewhere, or maybe even an amusement park. It'll be more exciting. The next thing I want to talk about is a guy's fear of rejection. Do you know why so many guys are stuck in the friend zone? It's because they fear being rejected, and so they settle for just being her friend. But there's no happiness there. Like, think about it. You're just continuing to be her friend, hoping that she'll fall for you too one day. But you haven't even expressed your feelings. How is she going to know that you like her? It's better to tell her your feelings. I know it's scary. And I know that no one wants to lose a friend especially someone we like. 
but continuing to be her friend while she finds other guys isn't going to make you any happier. Instead, all it's going to do is make you miserable. So just tell her you like her. If she responds positively, great. You have a girlfriend. If she rejects you, then respectfully say all right and leave. There's no reason to stay anymore. Now, if you do manage to get her, you need to keep this in mind. You have to be honest and upfront with her. Sure, mincing words and sugarcoating things might help in the beginning. But as you grow older, you'll tire of the pretense. You'll crave honesty. And if you formed your whole relationship around a false pretense, then it's all going to fall apart. So make sure you're honest, even if it means having to say things that are going to hurt her. Above all else, you need to appear calm and collected. Don't be desperate. You absolutely have to avoid looking like you're desperate or needy. I shouldn't have to tell you this, but a desperate guy is an immediate turnoff for women. Being desperate communicates a lack of self-respect and confidence within one's own self. Remember, a high-value man attracts women partly due to his confidence, but mainly because he comes across as the type of guy that's secure in himself. Now, I know that it's natural to be desperate sometimes. It's completely normal to be needy sometimes. Most guys tend to have this tough outside shell, but we want love too. I get that. But just because I understand you doesn't mean that that girl will too. Trust me, most girls aren't going to be this understanding. So, even if you feel especially needy, even if you want to talk to her, just try to keep a healthy distance between you two. At least, until you're sure she loves you. That means not asking her to hang out every day. Not replying to her text right away. And not being a yes man. The type of man that agrees to everything she says. So, that was all for this video. If you guys liked the video, why not like and subscribe? It's sure to help the channel and motivate me to continue doing what I do. If on the other hand, you didn't like the video, please let me know in the comments below so that I can improve my mistakes. As always, you've all been fantastic. Stay tuned for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and goodbye.